Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Miyagi Guy Kicks back at it again with a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for so much, so much love and support. All your likes and all your comments. But guys, I can't, can't thank you guys enough. I love you guys for it. And keep on subscribing, keep on commenting, and keep on liking. I promise you that every like and every comment that you put on my channel is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. You know, there's no love. There's, there's always love on this channel. It's never hate. So please leave your feedback. Leave everything. Leave everything, everything in the comments. Leave all your likes. And like I said before, I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you. But today we're going to be doing a brand new sneaker review. As you can already tell, this is the shoe that I've been waiting for that I want on the sneakers app. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing you something new. So basically I'm going to give you like an overall unboxing of the shoe. So I haven't taken the shoe out the box yet. It's still in the Nike's delivery box, everything. So I'm going to be cutting it open, taking everything out and just showing you guys the overall experience of what it looks like to unbox like an actual shoe, an actual sneaker. So let's get into the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Miyagi Got Kicks. Today we're gonna to be doing an overall unboxing. I'm talking about straight from the Nike delivery box, everything. I'm just gonna give you guys an overall experience of what it looks like to unbox an actual shoe that comes from Nike. So I can't wait to crack it open for you guys. So let's get into the sneakers. So here, like I said before, the seal is still on the box. I haven't unboxed the shoes, the sneakers yet. I just, just took off my like uh, information, like the labels and stuff, you know, because I don't want to show you guys my information. But overall, the box is still sealed and uh, I can't wait to crack this open for you guys. So let's crack this box open. Uh, I got my uh, trusty knife over here. Be careful when you use knives, guys, please. So, cut it right down the center, right on the side, over. Man, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about this shoe, man. I seen this. I seen like overall like people got them early, so I seen like early early YouTube reviews of the shoe, and man, the shoe is it looks sick, man. I'm just waiting for this shoe. And like I said before on my last video, it's been a while since I won on the sneakers app, so. I'm very, very, very excited for this shoe. So here it is. Box is empty. Nothing particular about that box. Let's get rid of that. So here I have your standard Jordan 1 box. As you can already tell, it's been a while since I did a Jordan 1 because Jordan Jordan 1's been slowing down lately over uh, in 2020 lately. Um, I know they just recently had like the Pine Greens release. I didn't get those. I did get the Royal Toes and this pair here. So yeah, so overall for me, the Jordan 1 has been slowing down lately for me. So that's why I haven't been doing a lot of Jordan 1 videos. So yeah, so, but this shoe, I'm super excited for. So let's crack it open. So, ooh, look at that paper. Man, that paper is fresh. So here, I have the one and only Jordan 1's light in the light smoke gray colorway. Man, straight out the box, the shoe feels. Oh man, it feels great. That that brand new shoe smell. Ooh, that smell is phenomenal. Damn, I love the Jordan 1 smell. It's great. Opening a new pair of fresh kicks when you got that new shoe smell is just pretty dope and this shoe straight out the bat looking at it is sick it's super super dope oh my god this shoe is just fantastic it looks good feels good and man the overall quality of the shoe is just pretty pretty sick so let's get into an overall detailing of what you get on this shoe so overall on the shoe you have this kind of new buck it's kind of like suede new buck light smoke gray throughout on top of the shoe going around the shoe you have a black out nike check on the side white midsole black outsole on the tongue you have and you have a white tongue and you know they didn't go with the leather tag on these which i'm excited for they did not go for that uh jordan one leather tag that they've been doing lately on the shoes so um so they they just did the standard jordan one tag with all the lettering on the back so that's pretty nice that's pretty nice that they did the, the standard uh tag on the shoe is pretty dope 
uh, inside the shoe you have in black black um, in the sole with Nike Air in red uh, sock liner is it's, it's kind of like the royal toes they, they actually have been applying this to a lot of shoes to make the shoe feel more comfortable because I know some of the old Jordan models have like the mesh inside sock liner so that's pretty dope that they're changing it up to be feel more comfortable so this is more of a cushiony feel yeah and uh on top of the shoe you have this red um wings logo you can say or red um wings i guess yeah you can say wings yeah so this red material at the top and also right here is a different material it's more like a suede more like a suede new buck material is pretty dope so yeah I don't know what's the story or inspiration of behind this shoe. All I know is that people like to compare this shoe to the, what they call the UN, the UN LA, the Union LA uh, Jordan ones, where I think one shoe was the Storm Blue pair with the same red wings logo, and then the other pair was like the black toe with the same with the same um, wings logo coming out of it. So yeah, they like to compare that shoe to the Union Jordan one. So. Basically, if you can't get your hands on that pair and you want to know what it looks like, this is the actual shoe to get so you can know what Jordan did for that shoe. So now I know what Jordan did with that shoe because I always thought the material on the Union LA's, the collab, was a different black, but they actually used this material on that shoe. So if you want to compare it to that shoe and and use that backstory is pretty dope, but there is no backstory on this shoe. So basically this is just an overall new colorway for the Jordan 1. So yeah, and I, I like it a lot. It's a pretty, pretty dope shoe. When I first saw this shoe uh, releasing pictures and something like, yo, that's a pretty, pretty sick shoe because it's different. It's, it's new, it's different. And I just love, you know, when Jordan 1s do this kind of stuff, you know, feel me, keeping it, keeping it classy, you know, like not doing too much to the shoe. and. Yeah, Jordan 1 does it again, and Jordan Brand does it again. So yeah, this overall shoe, great, great, great shoe. And uh, yeah, I just love what they did with the shoe. Just that that red on the shoe, it, it would it would got to me, you know, because there is other smoke, um, smoke gray Jordan 1s out there. Like, I think you have a pair of lows and a pair of mids in smoke gray, but this is like the overall, like, shoe to me. Like, this Jordan 1 is pretty sick to me. And then also, comes with an extra set of laces if you want to swap out the laces that does come with a pair of white laces it would have been dope if it would have came in a smoke gray type of laces but it didn't um the standard it just comes with standard white laces but i'm definitely going to keep it keep the black laces on the shoe it just looks super sick i also seen other people use yellow laces on it i don't know it was some guy on instagram i don't know on instagram but i did look on the instagram on the explorer page and i and I'm seeing people a lot of a lot of people put the yellow laces on the shoe, so maybe I might go for yellow. I might try that out. You know, that's kind of different. So yeah, that's pretty dope. But yeah, so shout out to Jordan. So shout out to Jordan Brand and shout out to the Jordan One Silhouette. Um, it's it's phenomenal what they're doing. I just love what they're doing. Like in the beginning of the year 2020, the Jordan ones really wasn't really doing that good to me. Like the pine greens, I didn't get. Like I said before, that shoe was. And to me, the core purples, I did get the 2.0s and then the Royals, and then you got these. And then you also have, I believe, the Bio, the Biohazard, I think they call it, or Biohack Jordan 1 that's coming out in September. Uh, I don't know if that release date is official yet, but that shoe, I'm definitely getting. That shoe is just pretty sick to me. I just love, like, to me, like, it's not the overall shoe that I like. It's just like the hints of stuff that they put on the shoe. And that baby blue that's on that shoe, I like it a lot. So that's what's going to drive me to get that shoe. So hopefully, you know, they push the date a little bit forward instead of back. You know, this way I could get that shoe, you know, just in time for the ending of summer, not in the winter time, so I could wear it more often. So overall, this shoe, though, if I wanted to rate it, it's a five chopsticks, like I said before, five chopsticks in colorway. Comfortability is good, and this overall design and colorway is dope. Um, Jordan ones to me fit true to size, so I really I go to my I go to my size, which is eight and a half. So that's that's so basically true to size means like it fits your it fits your foot exactly like your foot. So. Go through the size with all Jordan 1s. If you haven't worn a pair of Jordan 1s before, I really, 
I suggest you just stop by your local Foot Locker or Foot Action or just a local sneaker spot. Try on a pair and see, you know, if the shoe fits your size and just stick with that size. Don't change your size. So that's basically my thoughts on the Light Smoke Gray Jordan 1s. And uh, also leave your thoughts and what you think of this shoe. Do you like this shoe? Do you hate it? Um, is it a wearable shoe? Is it, is it a collectible piece? Is it something that you want to wear? Just do you just leave it that stock just to collect? Do you wear this shoe? Like you know, just leave all your overall thoughts and all your overall comments in the bottom section of this video. And like I said before, all your likes and all your comments are greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated on this channel. And I can't thank you guys enough for you know joining me in my adventure into the sneaker game. And I and I thank you guys for accepting me. So so yeah. So basically, that's my overall thoughts on the shoe. And uh, yeah, that's my review. So I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.